Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws. This is take two of my last recording because I think my uh, my filming thing hates me, honestly. Um, okay, but oh, basically what happened is it deleted my recording and we ain't having a good time here. But before I get this video started, I'd just like to say I'm really sorry for not posting for the past month. Uh, for the first part of the month, things were just not going well, and then after that, I just kind of lost the ability to do it. But I'm back, and I hope you're not too mad at me. Um, hopefully this means that I will be posting regularly, so, but here's the thing is I'm going to be posting on, um, on Saturdays, hopefully, instead of Tuesdays, because Tuesdays is a really difficult day for me to post things. It's just kind of really out of the way. So, without further ado, let's start this Saturday Nerdy Draws video. Um, as you can see, hopefully you guys know, uh, I am drawing uh, Lars, and let's see if I can get this name right, Podparadstra. Did I get that name right? Let's sure hope so. Um, from Steven Universe. This video is going to be more of, it, it's going to be a discussion and a speed paint because holy crap these f last few episodes were good also spoiler spoiler alert this entire video is basically spoilers if you haven't seen uh the most recent hour-long special and also i should have it in the title that this is a spoiler video so just stay safe kiddos while i draw and talk about uh, my favorite show oh but anyways um, these last few episodes were amazing. They answered a lot of questions, for example, where Lion came from, and they also answered, um, the whole pink diamond thing, which actually, I'm, okay, I'm gonna be totally honest, that wasn't even a question at all until now, and now Steven Universe has basically turned into a murder mystery, which I am thoroughly enjoying, by the way. It's a great, uh... It's a great thing. I really, really like it. But, um, so I think the things that mostly got this entire fandom- Oh, by the way, this- if you guys don't know, this fandom basically blew up when these episodes came out. Like, I went on Tumblr and five minutes after the episode aired, there was like 3,000 fan arts and like 500,000 discussions. It was just- it was crazy. But, um, so- I think what got the fandom the most these last few episodes was probably uh, the trial itself, finding out that it wasn't Rose Quartz, at least by herself, that killed Pink Diamond, and also Lars's death. That really got all of us. But see, Lars died, and he came back to life, which was on. It, it, thank God. But um, can I just say that he got a lot cuter with this new look? Like, I don't mean to rub off my white-haired anime boy thing on you guys, but I mean, come on, this is some good stuff, this is some quality content here, but, um, it was, it was still sad to see Lars die, and I'm very glad that Steven brought him back, but at the same time, what sort of repercussions is this new form gonna have? Like, is he gonna, is he gonna live forever? Which, that kind of concerns me, because... While I get living forever probably isn't terrible in this show, I feel like living forever isn't exactly a plus considering most of the people he knows are mortal and most of the people he doesn't- he didn't like at first, he likes now, which is Steven, but I feel like if he were immortal it would cause a lot of problems for him, which I'm worried about. And I don't- I don't know how old Lion is, but I'm assuming he's pretty old. What- that, uh, topic was actually brought up by Turquoise T. Um, like, is he, is he actually immortal? And I think the fandom is actually asking that question a lot. Which I'd also like to say, um, we have questions now. Many, many, many questions. Um, one of my, one of my cousins, I think, brought up that they don't think that Yellow Diamond did it. And I know that's a really popular theory because of the way she acted, but I also don't feel like Crewniverse would, Crew, did I say that right? Crewniverse? would be so open about that, like, they would be so obvious about who the murderer of Pink Diamond is. So what my cousin was saying, and what I think is probably true-ish, 
is that White Diamond probably murdered Pink Diamond and Yellow Diamond knew about it. Be and I don't think, and here's why I don't think Yellow Diamond did it, is because I think Yellow Diamond is far too close to Blue Diamond and she would know that it would hurt Blue Diamond too much for a Pink Diamond to be dead. But White Diamond probably had a problem with Pink Diamond and killed her and Yellow Diamond saw it, but because White Diamond is probably the superior, she looks like the superior of all the diamonds, um, forced her to keep quiet about it or she would shatter it like she did Pink Diamond. And so that's why she was getting kind of touchy during the trial because she knew what was happening, but she couldn't tell anybody, but she still fully supported Blue Diamond and I don't think she would do anything to her Blue Diamond. Now, it also could be that Yellow Diamond is just faking it, she's doing it totally for personal gain and actually doesn't care about Blue Diamond, but I'd like to think that she does because I really like their relationship. And, I'd, um, and it made me really feel for Blue Diamond these few episodes because Blue Diamond was giving Steven the full benefit of a doubt, which I absolutely appreciated because this is the person she believes killed um, her, her most loved, as far as I know, most loved diamond and she's giving them the full benefit of a doubt because she wants to know what actually happened she wants to find the real person that did it and not just jump to conclusions which i can really appreciate you know despite the fact that she uh doesn't support fusions and shatters gems probably according to ruby also speaking of ruby eyeball eyeball really gave me some distress in these last episodes because steven tried to help Eyeball. Steven um, tried to heal Eyeball and was trying to save her and was trying to make sure that she was okay. But then Eyeball comes up on the stage and is like, nah man, I'ma testify against you even though you did these things. Which really sucks because Steven still cared about her well-being and Eyeball just did not care at all. She just didn't have any sort of remorse at all, which really struck me because she's probably one of the only gems that, um, I genuinely, like, didn't think she could have a comeback because she se she just seems dense, I think is what it is. She seems dense and seems like she couldn't have a redemption, which I get. Um, not every character can have a redemption in this show. But I don't know, it just, it just kind of struck me that uh, she would do that even though Steven cared about her. Also, the new gems, especially, okay, I love Pod Paradstra, she's my absolute favorite, but also the other gems were so great in this episode, like, Rhoda Knight was absolutely adorable, apparently she is a fusion between a pearl and a ruby, which is crazy because if she, and I saw this somewhere, if she were to fuse with Pod Paradstra, would she basically just be Sugalite? Not Sugalite. I have my names and fusions all mixed up, it's really hard to keep up in this show, forgive me but uh we also had we had rhodonite we had fluorite we had uh zircon i love zircon she's my little attorney and i forgot the other ones which i feel really bad about the twins but um if you guys have any opinions which i would love to hear about these new episodes leave it down in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed this video we're coming to the end i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you'd like to see me draw something or discuss something, leave it down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, guys!